I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this game, there is a link in the video description below to a lesson playlist. That way you can learn the fundamentals. This exercise is a little advanced. I call it Charleston Sprints because we're going to focus on speedy decision making during the Charleston. It's a great way to desensitize you from the anxiety especially if you tend to overanalyze your hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to roll these dice to determine which seat we're in for each sprint. For sprint one, we're going to be east because I rolled a five. One, two, three, four, five. The jokers are a one. I will get 14 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Jokers, flowers, new, uh, northeast dragon, pair twos. I would focus on twos. Build around the multiples. Like numbers with twos. We could maybe do east and west with twos. Let's see. Let's pass these three. I was thinking maybe we could do a year hand. Let's pass... Let's pass these three. We want twos. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Let's get stuck with like numbers there. East. We have three tiles to pass. South, red, eight. We got a pair of flowers though. I'd rather use them with the other like number hand, not with dragons. Tiles to pass. We have tiles to pass for optional cross. Lap. We have discards. East and west with twos. If we can get a west. East and west with twos. Fifth hand down under winds and dragons. Or we could play like numbers with twos and use this for joker bait. If you want to know more about joker bait, there are links in the video description below to some demonstrations. Basically, you hold a pair you don't need. Around the middle game, third wall, you discard one. Somebody makes an exposure with a joker and on your next turn you make an exchange with the other one. It's a great strategy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if we get a west, we could play east and west with twos. There's a gap though. That's why I think like numbers with twos might be better. Seems like we have too many tiles, but we don't. Sprint two, I rolled an 11, eight, nine, 10, 11, non-dealer.
Joker, pair of West, red, pair of ones, one, two, nine. I think I would focus on one, two, consecutive or maybe a year hand. So let's pass these. Flower, red, one. Like numbers with ones. I think I would break up the West. Let's pass these. South, maybe, maybe we can use the South, North and South with ones. There's a flower. Four, two, four, eight, mixed suits. No keeper. We got like numbers with ones. I would give up the South. Two, one, two. Let's see. One, two, zero, one, nine. Two, zero, one, nine. I think I might give up a red and the two. Flower, give up the red, optional cross. I'm thinking a year hand here. Lap. Or, let's see, either the first year hand with either one Flowers, 2019, one, and then nine. Or we could do, let's see, what about, here we go. There we go. That'll work. Flowers, 2019, one, nine. First hand under the year category. I probably would hold the one in case like numbers with ones comes in. I might even hold the south in case north comes in. So I would say the priority would be the year with a potential for like numbers with ones or north and south with ones. That was a pretty good Charleston. Four discards for one particular hand. I rolled an eight, so we're going to be in seat four, non-dealer. Flower, red, west, lots of cracks, pair of ones, four, five, six, eight, nine, seven, eight, and dots, and a six bam. I would start here. I would keep the red because it corresponds. I would always keep the flower. Give up the west. One, one through five, maybe a year hand. One, maybe an addition hand. So with the remaining, make a pass. Okay, so we have three, five little odds, maybe. Let's pass these. Ones, I don't think we could use these. Five, I'm thinking little odds. One, three, five, maybe. Three, five, one. Three, six, I don't think we can use that, or the seven. 
three, one, three, five, or five, seven, nine, one, three, five. Let's see. I think these are going to have to go two and a five. I wonder if I gave up one threes and fives. We could maybe play a year. I mean a pair hand. One. One three five. One three three. I would negotiate two. Lap. I wonder if I gave up any ones and ones and threes because we could play that pair hand. I don't remember. Nope, no, wait, there's a five way out there. I don't know if that was part of it. I don't think I gave up a five. I'll have to rewatch that, but I think I would try for the pair hand. We have too many fives, though. We could maybe play one, three, three, five. Let's see, one, three, five with ones. I would just hold them all. One, three, five pair hand. One, one, three. One, three, five. So we'd have to give up one of these fives for the pair hand. One way that you can make really quick decisions during the Charleston is to play at the category level. When you first get your draw in hand, look for your multiples first. If you don't have multiples, look for the predominant pattern. Then gather as many supporting tiles as you can. Pick a category that uses as many tiles as possible. And then don't pick a hand until you run out of discards. When you run out of discards, that's when you look at the card. Let's see how I did with time. Sprint one, one minute, 33 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes and two seconds, I went over my goal. Sprint three, two minutes, 15. My average was under two minutes, but I went over my two minute goal for two of those sprints. So this is why I like to practice. I stumbled, I think, in that last sprint. Well, two minutes and 15 seconds. So that one was a challenge for me. I consider myself to be an advanced player, so I, get, I try to give myself two minutes in the sprints. If you are an intermediate player, give yourself three minutes. If you're a beginner, give yourself four minutes. Push yourself to make quicker and quicker decisions. When you're at that two minute mark, you'll be able to play online comfortably or maybe even play in a tournament. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.